There is a new phrase in the English language, at least, Zoom fatigue. The phenomenon uh, that when you're on a Zoom call or a Skype call, it's far more mentally and physically draining on you. This week, I've got three tips from psychologists as to how you can overcome that happening. My name is Jonathan Bradshaw, and welcome to this week's Metology Minute. Hello, welcome back. I return to Zoom and calling on Zoom this week for obvious reasons. A um, very interesting article I was reading on BBC Work Life. Uh, two associate professors who work in human interaction and performance in the workplace. Uh, Gian Piero Pedri Cigilli, associate professor at INSED there in uh, San Francisco, and uh, Marisa Schuffler, associate professor at Clemson University. Now, first off, to say, yes, they said it is more difficult. It's more mentally and physically draining because we can't pick up so many of the non-verbal clue clues uh, when we're on Zoom calls, for example. It, it's just harder. It takes more energy, more mental energy. Um, it can be exhausting, is what they're saying. So it's a real thing, Zoom uh, fatigue. So what do they suggest? They suggest, one, turn your camera off. Now, I mentioned that three or four weeks ago. Um, a few people were a bit funny about that, say, no, you can't do that. Well, of course you can, and I think you need to at some point. It may not be optimum, but if someone's tired, turning off can help. They then say, on a Zoom call, have a chat about things non-related to the call. Take a bit of time, 30 seconds, small talk, I suppose. Get people feeling relaxed, that could be a good idea. And thirdly, do what I do, or I'm doing right now. Facing front, I'm, I'm looking out the window now, but I've chosen to have this camera to my left, and they say just moving the camera slightly can have uh, an impact, not make it so intense that people are looking right at you. Gives you a bit of a sort of way to get out of that line of sight. Hope they're useful. I'll be back in a week's time with another Meetology Minute, exploring the fascinating psychology powering human interaction. See you in seven days. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.